For me, it's more about what you're giving up so, here. Again, to me, White's off the table. Horford's off the table. Does that leave enough? And Brogdon, Rob, picks. If that gets you there, I'm willing to entertain it. But I'm not. Wait, so wait, why? <laughs> he why just dips after table? that. Yep. Because <laughs> I think going from White to Holiday is more of a lateral move. And plus, go to back to John's point, you need options after this year. White is a guy that you can extend for $27 million. So you have to factor all that in. Plus, I thought White just came off an outstanding season. Better shooter than Holiday. Comparable defender, even if he doesn't have the strength that Holiday does. And I think Flash, really great chemistry with the stars on this team. Yeah, no. So I, I, I'm just, I, 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 I'm, I'm not giving him up for another guard and Horford same point you need guys that can defend the burlier centers we talk about leadership he's really the only leader left from last year on this team and he's a guy that pretty much changed the whole culture of the room back you. when he arrived in 2021 I gotta stop you Horford is not gonna hold up a holiday trade that's banana land somebody back me up on that it's true. please I mean would Portland Horford's even gonna, want him Horford's gonna prevent well, that's a whole other story. But if they don't want right. it, that Horford I can is understand. A but Horford at that say- money is an asset. I, I'm sorry. You want to turn around you want to flip him somewhere? There'd be teams lining up to pay $10 right. million they, dollars for a guy like could. Horford. You know, like, mm-hmm. I'm, no they question could, but, but about John, it. that's not going to hurt. The, you're not going to. If that's if the case, the Celtics, I'm still not doing you're it. You're not saying Horford's off the table. He's saying he won't make So you're going to rely on Chris Stapps and Rob trade. at center. Oh, my God. They're both one. Or just Who, they might be the two most Andrew Crone centers in the one. league. How many teams yeah. have two? Horford's a three point shooter. How many now. Teams he barely the center to begin with. That good. Seriously. How many but, teams, how many have, teams two have, two have two that injury prone? I know that, but Horford's, Horford's not even a center old, anymore. Bobby. Like, he just took I, you to the East Finals yeah, playing center the whole way. Meanwhile, he took you. He took you to the East Finals all year while Rob played 30 games. Al Horford said, Get on my back. All right, poor wording. But we're going to remember you. where we were that day that Al Horford had eight points. <laughs> Rob? Yeah. Eight points. They had that, that block. Rob that sat one out block. until Christmas. I love him. He hit two corner threes. Him, but what are we talking about here? You know, Rob sat yeah. out until Christmas and then missed more time later in the season and then went to the bench for almost the entirety of the playoffs while Horford played center on the way back to the East Finals. Just like he played center the whole way when Rob was hurt the year before on the way to the finals. And now he's going to fall off a cliff? I mean, the way we talk about Horford, you're so ridiculous at this point. We're not, Bobby. W- nobody's saying We're not. It. Just, you're, you're We're so, compa- don't, don't get defensive. You're, you're going to be getting a guy who's an all-NBA player. It's an all-NBA all defender, an all-star player. You're going to be getting a guy at a position of need – Who's exactly what you need to replace? Yeah, but you we're just choosing lost. between Rob and you, Alex. Listen, basically. last year you had as bigs Horford and Rob. Two. This year you have as bigs if you trade one of them, Porzingis and Rob. Okay, that's better than what you had last year. And then you're going from Marcus Smart to Holiday, which is better than what you had last year. So again, it's an improvement across the board. What are you talking about losing here? You it have matters look- which big you give up, though. It does. I know. What I'm saying is no matter what. Because guess what? No matter John, what you're you trade, upgrading. You trade Horford. I like Sherrod you did a here, And I like did. Jimmy there. And I like Bobby there. Sorry. Okay. I oh, so, Bobby yeah. on the backcourt. I like that. John, yep. you trade Horford. <laughs> Rob goes down. It's Chris Stapps and Cornette. In the front you keep corner. the team as it is. You get to the Eastern Conference Finals. You lose to you know you know where this is going. Whoever, <laughs> and then and then Milwaukee. we're sitting. Man, Milwaukee. they sure should have made that deal to get Drew because man, they really could have used an elite two way defender on the wing when Dame Lillard is busting their ass for like forty points a game. It'd be <laughs> nice to have someone who could slow him down a little bit. Or the guy they had who could slow him down is in Memphis, but they could have got a guy in Drew Holiday if they only. And, and- and here's a here's another thing. Not to mention, you're you trading, don't think True Holiday will be ready for you're Milwaukee trading Marcus for that and for, those games? for Holiday. If somebody put that on the table last year, yup, oh, done. Yeah, yup. Good point when you when you put it that way. That's a good point. I feel a little icky about it, but guess what? I get over it. <laughs> I get over it. <laughs> I just think Drew. Ho- I just think that Drew Holiday is one of the most underrated, underappreciated players in the NBA, and yet year in year out. He's one of the best defenders. 
He makes big plays. And the thing that, to me, you go back He's and you perfect. look at the Milwaukee championship run. Giannis was great. Don't get me wrong. But Drew was pretty special. Yeah. Drew what? more than earned his mm-hmm. keep to win that chip. Yeah. Um, the biggest question mark I got with Drew at this and- point is how much does he still have in the tank? Because yeah. I think that is – he had some stretches last yeah, year. Yeah, I'm thinking about that Heat series, Rod. I'm like yeah. – mm-hmm. he, he had – did not he had a fun time against Drew Holiday. Yeah, he, Mark, I mean, the, the Malcolm Brogdon couldn't brush his teeth last year. In the, and then that's in a good the, point, in, too. In the, in the playoffs, okay? <laughs> he couldn't even stay in front of him. So, yeah. Like, I mean. Damn. Drew Damn. Holiday. Man, that, was, that was ugly, man. <laughs> Drew, Hol- Damn, Drew Holiday <laughs> round one last year. 40% field goal, 28% from three. It's not a knock on him. I'm saying, like, you right. have injuries. Not, but, you got injuries, <laughs> yeah, guys. It's not it's a knock on him. <laughs> No disrespect. Yeah, right. No saying, disrespect, but, but yeah, respectfully. Yeah. Respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even do that. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, man. Man. oh man. I don't know, man. Uh, you go. It's I tough, but what you give up here matters. I think you have to give up the right package if you're going to do this. <laughs> I just like we we kind of know what it is though oh, you yeah. know like hopefully you know yeah it's like it's like it's like wrapping a bicycle and putting it under the tree like it's a bicycle I can yeah, see that right? like, you, you you know what the package is you know what it is like, there's really no surprise yeah. here <laughs> the bike <laughs> it's like, you know bike. what it's gonna be <laughs> yeah. if you find a creative way to do it with Brog with Brogdon picks and spare parts sure. that's Put a no brainer but like I don't know you know. You're probably not going to be able to do it. With the I don't know if you can do it for that. Yeah. Well, Theron, you brought up a good point when you talked but about James Posey good... and those guys having a one year, you know, one and done impact. Is that how you see it? Because it's it's hard to imagine the Celtics uh, bringing him back after that contract ends, right? Yeah, and, and, and I, I'm okay with that. I, I have no problem bringing. In okay, I want to make that. I want to put that out there for everyone. Like this is and be ready to flip him. You know, because I mean, think think about this for a second. Malcolm Brogdon, when they brought him in, weren't they essentially bringing him for what they thought for what really would have been one year? No. So it's not like this is something that the Celtics are immune to or not willing to do. If you even no matter how good you might be, if you come up short of helping them win a championship, they have made it very clear that we will flip your ass. Mm-hmm. And, and and do it, you know, without mm-hmm. any hesitation. And if that deal falls through, we got plan B that's literally in our back pocket. Because you can't tell me that the Marcus Smart trade wasn't something that was like, okay, if we can't do Malcolm, we're going to do Marcus. That came together way too quick yeah. for it not to be premeditated. I would like to ask this question as well. For all of the holiday looked really bad in the playoffs last year against the Heat. How did Jalen Brown look last year in Max, the playoffs? I knew, see, I knew attorney – Xanis was going to go there. Are we going to – you're going to con- – okay, all, all of you guys are going to condemn a guy <laughs> because of, he had a bad playoff series? Then right, Brown we can't even Bra- – Then Brown yeah, should be playing in Greece after that last not, week. You know, not like, playing well in the play in the Eastern Conference Finals, but yeah. That's, I, mean, I, I mean, I guess that's partly why I'm all in on figuring a way to get Drew Holiday because he had a bad series. But let's look at his body of work. And do we really think that that one series should be what defines him? I wasn't going to bring Jalen Brown to the conversation because we – Maybe at this age, for plenty right? of time to get on Jalen Brown. Uh, plenty of time to talk about Jalen. But, uh, no, I, I – This is going to be his 15th year I in the league. Holiday. I, 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 I'm like, y'all get me kind of really kind of triggered about Drew Holiday. Yeah, you and got I, me. I, I, I really <laughs> want Drew Holiday right about now. But the right article tonight. I want you guys to start being nice to Holiday because he's coming. Okay? So if it's if it's Robin Brogdon, you're doing yeah. it. Yeah. If it's who? Robin Brogdon. Like I said, I gotta sit that out because I'm, that was I'm, I'm emotionally compromised. I can't. I that was an intentional. Is is it who? But you really think about it. Robin the most realistic Brogdon. package from a value standpoint. That's what I'm thinking about, fellas. I'm not thinking about Al because if you're Portland, you want another asset that you could potentially flip. You already have Aiden. You know, you you flip one of those guys, but right now you're looking at Aiden to be your your center at least for the next couple of years, but. Rob makes a lot more sense than Al. Um, let's let's make let's ask the hard question, and I'm going to abstain. If it's Brogdon and Rob, do you do it, Sherrod? No. Wow. Ooh. Rob's a, Rob's a no. You force Al into the deal, or you say no. Yep. Jimmy, I'd say do it. 
I've always been like very hot and cold yep. on Rob. So uh, the the track record on Holiday speaks for itself. I think Holiday makes them the team to be. Uh, Joe Sway. Sure, sure, fire. No. Nah. Can't do it, huh? Bobby? I mean, well, go why? I'm just thinking about in, in, Come on, thinking Joe about three Sway. years down the road, man. You, who's your center? I'm not three years down the road. We're Sway. all going to be dead <laughs> in three years, <laughs> Joe Sway. I'm this season. Let's have some I'm fun. I'm thinking this season where you are in championship or bust mode, if you allow Rob to walk, or excuse me, allow, yeah, you make that yeah, deal. Rob, yeah. You've got great perimeter play. But you're gonna get your ass smoked down yeah. in the block. And I'm thinking about Giannis going going downhill all over the Celtics in the series. Uh, yeah. My line of defense is out. I just oh, want to see what this team holidays guard Giannis. I, I think the Celtics and the Bucks are neck and neck. I don't think there's a whole lot of there's not that much of a gap where you have to go out and get someone like Drew. But it would solidify the Celtics as like as that 100 favorites, Easter Conference favorites heading into the heading into the season. So you're gonna get congrats. You got 50 games with of of Rob playing like. Hey, 75%. this is this year is gonna be different. I think this year's gonna be different. That's the biggest congrats, thing here. Everybody. He's healthy. Okay, he's been in the gym since June. This has never happened. So I'm sticking mm. with it. I'm, I'm sticking with this team. So to stay pat, but man, that would be. Right. We got his eight. You got his agents on the show. Uh, best shape of his life. We're gonna get that from Rob on Monday. He's in the best shape of his life. <laughs> John, you have there, to have a He's going to say that. 100%. You're right, Jimmy. He's going to say that. Best shape of his life. It's best shape of it's my life hard. season. The sequel. Uh, it's a hard the thing. I, this, would, this is why it would it would kill me. Because the thing I've been – that I, I'm with you, Jimmy. Like, I, I, I sold off some of my Rob Stonk, not all of it, <laughs> um, last year. Because I do – I no longer think, like, that – wow, this guy's going to become an all-star and reach another level uh, there um, is on the table mm -hmm. like I maybe thought, uh, you know, a year and a half ago. But... Sure, when Rob Stonk, yeah, Stonk when took, took off. off. Uh, which I had a, a lot of shares uh, of... Yeah, it was GameStop. You feel great about it, John, when he, when, when he makes the uh, all-defensive all yeah. team this year. But... Right? You did have a lot. A lot of it early. Oh, sure. uh, <laughs> you were controlling the market, to be completely honest. You were swaying the so market. This is when Rob was playing 12 minutes a night. You remember I that? Know, like, I know. Yeah, but that's true. What I will say is this. What have I – Yeah, Bobby what, was cool What have it. I been asking for this whole time, right? <laughs> like one summer, I just want one summer of him, no surgery, healthy, <laughs> working out in the gym, practicing actual basketball stuff somewhere where they know where he is, you know, and they got it this year. You got that from Rob. Like, look, a 